Hello, hello everybody. We are continuing our Pokemon Emerald journey. Last time we beat Winona without much issue, ran into the Castleon, learned how to fly, beat Brendan outside of a, 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 a like, super convenience store, I suppose. And now we have, oh yeah, and we also went into uh, Lavender Town 2.0, which was interesting. But we also gained access to Magma's Lair. And presumably we also have access to Aqua's Lair, but uh, this is the one I decided to do first. The Magma Hideout. Well, for some reason, my brain was just looking at this. It's like, why is this a puzzle? How is this a puzzle? My, what a mighty puzzle. Interesting that there's wild Pokemon attacks in their hideout. And that's a high-level DU Geodude, all things considered. Sorry, Zoom. Well, actually, you have Surf. <laughs> I forgot. Here I was being like, I'm sorry, Zoom. You can't defeat the rock. Completely forgetting that Zoom inexplicably can learn Surf. Why can a Lanoon learn Surf? Nobody knows! It's just such a silly thing. This might actually be not a half-bad grinding spot. Maybe, potentially. Begone, Geodud. Then again, with flying, I could just go and re-challenge all the poor schmucks who fought me in the past. Why is there just a place up here? You can't have places in places. That's illegal. Dark, huh? You are the fuck that killed me a lot. If you survive one, Surf will recruit you. Wait, you're... Oh, you... I was going to say, wait a minute, you're a fire rock, aren't you? So you wouldn't survive. And then you went and you survived. Good for you. You get the honor of being put into a ball. Go ball. I have half a mind to destroy you if you escape. You've chosen wisely. Torku. Torko, the coal Pokemon. It battles using energy it gets from burning coal. When loosing smoke from its nostrils, it lets off a sound that is similar to a locomotive's horn. Based off of that alone, I'm surprised that Emmett or Ingo don't have one of these. And uh, Brain went to it first, so it's going to be your name. You're going to be named over the, the, the horrors that I associate with your kind. You are overheat now. Your name and your move, that if I ever actually use you, will be that. I just wanted to look in the corner for secrets. That's all I wanted. Don't you dare use explosion. <laughs> Don't you dare use explosion. But yeah, like, alternating between Shane and Zoom, and just using the experience share, that could actually be a decent strategy for leveling up people. And there was nothing here anyway. Great. Now I'm just trying to think which way is, like, the f the right way. I don't want to make progress. I want to maximize the destruction of my foes. I'm honestly surprised that Team Magma don't have more Geodudes, Gravelers, and stuff in their teams. Our leader told us to dig into Mount Chimney, so we dug and dug, and in the course of digging, we came across something that blew our minds. What did we find? <laughs> I'll tell you if you beat me. I don't think he will. I think that he is lying to us. You have one Pokemon, and it's not even one that's native to the area you've made your base in. Kill. You make no sense, little man. At least Zoom leveled up. Ah, taken down! Who would have thought? I won't tell you after all. You'll find out when you get there. It'd be better if you saved surprises to the end, don't you think? What are you? What is that? 
I was gonna say, it's like, what are you? But now I don't even remember what I was going to call him. Because I saw, like, a box, and I forgot to swap my Pokemon around. Shit. Destroy the Rock Man. We must now swap people around. We shall put Shane in front. Well, there's an exit. Another Torkoal! I'm gonna wander around. I don't know which way is, like, the front way. The way to journey. Oh, yeah, because you're also part fire. You bastard. How dare you hurt the boy! And you burn the boy, too! You fuck! Well, who shall we bring in to kill you? We could always just bring in Zoom. Let's throw Luna at the problem. Why not? How dare you body slam the poor... Why? I feel like that's a little sh shitty game. How dare he be able to just go, Eh, I use move that can in potentially give thing and then just gives thing. It's a random encounter, you asshole game. I feel like that's a bit shitty. Just ever so slightly. Let's see, do we have berries that will heal per out? Once again, I don't care about the label I want to use! <laughs> Makes no sense. Nobody cares about that silly little thing. Nobody cares about the label. Nobody in the, their right minds have used the label in a million years. It is a forgotten art. Whenever the old people come in and they'll be like, Remember the labels? The children throw them off a cliff. Because nobody cares about the labels on the goddamn berries in this game. Not a single person. So stop defaulting to the label. Be shot with gun. I do find it kind of funny. That, like, you wouldn't think that just shooting seeds at a rock would do a lot of damage, but here you go. Be annihilated, fool. We'll have Luna go on ahead. Primarily because I don't think some of the others will really have much opportunity to do stuff. Because all of this is like rock and ground, which doesn't work good for my striker. Doesn't work good for nickel. Doesn't work good for night fang. Oh, and that was a, just a dead end anyway. How dare you, game? You make it look like it's away when it's not away. You have false advertised me, and you will be hearing from my Fallout lawyers. They say they're sending you a nuke. But at least this serves as good grinding for the next gym. Because I don't know. Maybe it's just the fact that we have access to revives now and we've got lucky. But Norman and Winona... I did, I should really move the moves around because I didn't mean to do that. I just wanted to spam the button and to kill this motherfucker. And then I go and now... But why though? But why though? But Tripoli, why? <laughs> why would you do that? That is very cruel and mean of you. Who in their right mind would go, we're gonna give wild Pokemon self-destruct? Why? That seems rather rude. Well, now I feel I have to use Psychic on you or else you'll get to self-destruct too. <laughs> Maybe this it just seems rather cruel. Let's see. 
have a decent amount of revives. Let me just see. Now the problem is I don't have any mid-tier heals. Hold it right there! You don't really expect me to keep my trap shut and let you waltz by me! No, you're gonna let me disco by you. Your new mel shall fall. Shall die. At least it makes some margin of sense why you'd have a new mel. No real clue why you guys predominantly seem to use Puchiana. Then again, it doesn't really make much sense why you guys predominantly use... Like, why Aqua also does that. Oh, wow! I concede! I'm an adult and could probably just... Well, no, because the ch I was gonna say... The Magma Grunt could just go, I'm an adult and I could just beat up the child, but... Super-powered Pokemon. Maybe it would have been better if I did just let you go unchallenged. Like, what would have happened? You think you would have won? And then I guess I will... Swap out your item and give you the experience share. Yes. So Striker can level up while Zoom does all the heavy lifting. And now this Magma Grunt shall just completely ignore the Pokemon battle that will happen right next to her. A veritable ocean of water will flow by and she will just go, huh, interesting. But then the moment she catches the most minor glimpse of a person, murder mode comes on. What, what, what? Only Team Magma members are supposed to be in here, but you're not dressed in Team Magma's uniform. You roused my suspicion. Battle with me! I shall annihilate you. Oh no, not a Mighty Ina that's like the same level as the last Puchiana that I destroyed. Anything but that. Headbutt. But Raw failed. Get headbutt again. Money for me. Ay ay ay, my pride is a Team Magma member. I'm actually the Team Magma auditor. I'm here to audit the uh, strength of you fools. That's odd. <laughs> Didn't think I could get into a Pokemon battle like in a half step between like sprite placement. Kill. I guess I'll swap in Shane so he can get some a bit of extra experience. Ah, ah, the intruder! An intruder that has walked by you a bit and you just didn't notice because you are a fool. You have sent out the worst Pokemon to fight me. Now you will die, Bullet Seed. Now the problem is I want to save Giga Drain for when I am fighting a fa like something that's actually scary. And I can't just use that as an emergency heal. And we'll just Leaf Blade you to death. Kill him. Kill him anyway. How dare you not die? You should die. It's only correct. We'll Leaf Blade you again then. Because we obviously need an encore for your death. Be gone, Satan. question is, I just realized, all this time I could have been putting a bunch of this stuff into my PC to not deal with it, and I've just been keeping it here, because I'm a fool. Oh yeah, I have soda pop. I completely forgot that I had some soda pop. Fight me. Oh ho, an intruder! So we have aha and oh ho. 
You two are you two must be twins. Let me guess, the next thing you're gonna send out is a Zubat. Isn't it? Kill. Destroy the ball toy. Throw it into the ocean. Team Aqua will surely be pleased. Ah, oh, you're gonna I probably should have changed. I don't know why. My brain just doesn't associate you as a threat. Granted, you're not really immune to grass, but still. If you had overheat, it might be scary. <laughs> Mutter. You are an odd person. I just wanted to look at the box. Oh no, not the Torkoal. That will go and be mean. We shall run. And I guess I will have Zoom take over for wild Pokemon battles so we can get some experience, but not have to worry about Shane just being annihilated by a random Torkoal. Although we're going to run out of Surf eventually. So maybe we should be running from these more than not. And there's nothing that way either. I just like to make sure that I'm not missing anything. Destroy the Torkoal. Make it scream with steam screams. Be gone, Satan! Great, now I'm presented with another option. Up or down? You're not a Torkoal. You're not going to feel the refreshing waves of death kill you. Be gone. I just turned, damn you! What is this? Just a conga line of Geo dudes being like, fight me, fight me, fight me, fight me. And then randomly a Torkoal shows up. What is this place? Because the thing is, I want to, like, annihilate... Well, then again, we're, we aren't getting attacked by random Pokemon. Hmm, this seems like it's going to be a double battle. Well, I'll keep the team I have. I can't stand heat. Maybe I should have joined team, joined team Aqua instead. I don't have a bone to pick with you. I'm just following orders. It doesn't matter. I'm still going to throw you to Nuremberg for that. Bum, 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 bum. How dare the mighty Ina intimidate Zoom. That is illegal in 50 states, surf. And I guess bullet seed on you. Weaken him. Weaken the mighty Ina. So that the surf might take him away. Throw him into the ocean sea. What? It didn't kill him? Bullshit. Surf was supposed to annihilate him. Fill his lungs with water. Throw him off the edge of the world. This is illegal behavior. Headbutt. And more bullet seed, I guess. Goodbye, my Dina, you fool. Ah, striker leveled up indeed. Yeah, I really may not be right for Team Magma. I may have lost, but... But what? We dug up something beyond belief and we got the blue orb. All that's left is for our leader to fu 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 I shall now... Don't like that. I shall take the XP share and give that item to Night Fang. So Night Fang may start getting experience. Oh, 
Hopefully this is just an extra area full of dudes to fight. Because I don't want to accidentally the story. That would be bad. We found a full restore! There's no reason to bother the machines. Man, the Pokemon... How is it that we're fighting Pokemon now? We, like, went from one end to the other without fighting any random Pokemon. We fight those dudes that the game remembers. Oh, yeah, random encounters. That's weird. Game, you are odd. You make no sense, gum. You make no sense. Yo, surf. Oh no, it didn't die. Don't paralyze the zoom. Why is that like 100% guaranteed with you? That makes no sense. I swear. The game is like, uh, how dare you play the game. All enemies forever accurate 100% bullshit. Because seriously, Body Slam is not a 100% guaranteed chance to paralyze. It just can't be. It just can't be. I refuse. And let's see. I will throw Nickel in since this is going to be some trainer fights. You can hear tremors here sometimes. Could it be the volcano rattling? Or is it growl? Whoops. No, never mind. Or could it be the Gru? He is summoning the minions. Whose flyer fly fly is the best fly? I am so fly that you are die. You're a fiery battler, just like a volcano. And yet I don't have a fire type. One of our guys is freaking out that he lost his magma emblem. Wait a minute, was it you who found it? No, it was an old guy, and he gave it to me. Because I am the true master of magma, despite having nothing. What a magical world it is, indeed. Get aerial aced. The naturally learned move of a bird. I'm having trouble believing this. That somebody found the emblem and then kicked your ass? I really should have put stuff away, but then I forgot. What should I throw away? I don't really care to throw anything away. Like maybe the orange mail? I have no purpose for you. I don't think you're important. Goodbye. If it was so important, it wouldn't have let me throw it away. You are unworthy of battle. You would probably just self-destruct anyway. Goodbye. You will definitely self-destruct. Goodbye. We're not gonna fight them. They're unworthy. And this is leading further in, so I'm going to assume that this is the way the game wants you to go. Which means it's the way that I do not want to go. Goodbye. Well, really, if I'm just running from battles at this point, I really should just use the uh, Super Repel. I do kind of like the Team Magma bass music. It's kind of funky. Why is everything so windy and leading everywhere? What did I do to deserve this guard posting? My left ear is burning up! That's hilarious. Really, your entire body should be burning up if you're standing that close to magma, lava, death. Get aerial aced. Yeah, so I just, I don't know which way to go now. 
Because down seems very important. I'm getting heat exhaustion. How dare the game have multiple ways that both seem pretty important and lead deeper in both ways. Then again, heading back up seems less important than heading further down. Yeah, this just leads back up here. Where we can fight a dude. Damn it, game. I do not care about you, Geo Dude. You are a Geo Dud. When Team Magma has roll call, we get important guardian assignments in the order that we line up. That's why I'm stuck off in this corner. I'm always late to roll call. Then why why are you always late to roll call? If you hate it so much, why don't you get there early? Why do you only have a Zubat? Maybe that's why you're in this corner? Then again, the other guard posting also just had a Zubat. You guys are terrible at your job. You'd think that a guard would have a full team. I'm always late for training sessions, too. Well, that explains it. I hate to say it, but I'm wimpy. Why did you have two lines? That's kind of odd. And I found a rare candy that I'm never going to use. Okay, I'll try to put a little more effort into things from now on. Career criminal. Taught life lesson by child. We must flee from thee. I do think the encounter rate is a bit too high. I should be able to get just a little bit away. If I get absurdly fastly fought again. Alright, that's a decent distance. Because I don't mind some encounters, but like, if it goes too, too much encountery, then the world is just cruel and mean and damaging to my soul. Piggledy, piggledy. Then again, we are going to go a long distance and I'm never going to have much use for these super repels. Most of the time. And I can always buy more super repels later. Because really the experience for all this comes from the trainer fights in here. Fight me, lady. We joined so we can help our leader achieve his fantastic vision. I don't care if you're with Team Aqua or if you're just some kid passing by. No one interferes with us and gets away with it. Even though that's all I've been doing this entire game. You are a fool. Or maybe I am for sending out a flying type against a ball toy. Steel wing? Maybe? It was something, and a critical hit for some reason. Your ball toy has bad vibes, apparently. Oh no, you're not to be trusted at all! I am invading your space and kicking your ass. Why are there two different directions that I can go? Why are there two directions, world? Two directions. That's too many. Well, I guess we're going to be leaving a nugget behind. But it does seem that going down, like, further is places. Game Y. I don't even think they really teach you all that much about, like, I could use the rare candy. I'm going to quickly look up Pokemon Emerald. Is there any, like, detriment to using rare candy or something? Let's see. Pokemon Emerald rare candy. Let's see. Yeah, it just says ra ra raises a diddly d. I just wonder if there's like a downside because it feels like there should be because it raises the level. Hmm. 
Let's see. When leveled up via rare candy, the Pokemon learn a level up moves for its new level and evolve it evolves by level and meets the requirements. Apparently, if it's used on a fainted Pokemon, it will revive. While there doesn't seem to be any, like, negatives to it, I don't know, just all my life I always felt like it was cheating. Oh, we'll go ahead and level everyone up with all our rare candy, I guess. Why not, I suppose? And the stats don't seem like they're being affected that badly. So we'll just use all our rare candy to get the power point max in. Ah, wants to learn Bite. Would it be useful for you to learn Bite? I don't think so. Hmm. I guess you could learn it over Tackle. It's more powerful. Tackle's just a normal type move. Now you have type like it like spread. You have like type spread and usually if something is dark type you can just like blast it with lightning. And then we'll use the last one on Zoom, and we'll continue to manually level up our dear Nickel. Well, first things first, we're going to PowerPoint Max. Grab that, and let's take a look at all the moves that everyone has. Let's see, Leaf Blade is at 18. Yeah, well, Giga Drain, maybe. Take a look at Psychic. PowerPoint on another Psychic wouldn't be bad, but at the same time, upping Giga Drain might be good, but I'm not really going to use Giga Drain that much, I feel. So I do believe that the right idea would be to use it on uh, Psychic. And now we can see what you have caught what it be, an Ultra Ball. And by that I mean switch the items. We will give you your Quick Claw back. And now we'll continue leveling Nickel. I understand everything our leader says, but you know what? Doing stuff like digging up a super ancient Pokemon and ripping off someone's meteorite, I think we're going a little too far. What do you think? I can't believe it. It's a sane magma grunt. Stealing a meteorite? Awakening a Pokemon? That's just too far. Apparently for this guy. Aerial Ace. Damn you, you whore. Leaf Blade. I do find it funny that it... Only once Mightyena comes out the first time does it lower the attack with Intimidate. It can only be intimidating once. Yeah, I think we're doing something wrong somehow. You're just an amusing little man, aren't you? You know, losing to you cleared my mind. The next time I see our leader, I'm going to ask him about what we do. You are a silly little man, aren't you? Oh, we can grab the nugget now. Why do you have so much machinery next to lava? That's not good for the machinery. I don't think the lava cares, but who knows? Maybe it's bad for it, too. I mean, I guess we could swap out to Zoom, and Zoom already found another move. Not another move, another item. Surprise! Your Lanoon can discover just an entirely new move. And now, surf. Surf, surf, surf the volcano. With a critical hit. You must have been very angry at that Torkoal. We have found Zoom's mortal nemesis, Torkoal. 
Or maybe it's just random encounters. Jesus Christ, Tarkal. Yeah, I think I'll just run. Don't want to damage my Pokemon too much. Not when I don't have that many healing options. I want to see Groudon too, but they won't let me even see its tail. It's got me feeling really frustrated. Oh no, I blabbed out Groudon! Why would you see an intruder, walk up to them, vent your frustrations, only to realize, oh no, I blabbed about the secret thing? You are not a very smart person, aren't you? How dare you miss? You motherfucker. And now you're gonna be guaranteed to become confused. Ah, it didn't happen. The world knew I was going to call it out on its bullshit. So it decided to be like, ah, see? I'm good. I'm a good game. Well, if you were a good game, you wouldn't have to read my anger at you to decide how things should go. I guess it's impossible to win if one doesn't have a calm mind. Hey, that's the move that my Gardevoir knows. Alright, a double battle. We shall put you in, and we should probably see, see what you found. An ether! Huzzah! How dare you! Mm, nah, I'm not gonna risk it. Time for double battle! <laughs> soon! Very soon! Our grand objective will be achieved! You're not finished yet! You're not getting by me easily! They are quite the silly fools, aren't they? <laughs> if you saw two guys look at you like that, in the same pose, I think it would be a little disturbing. I'll play it safe. Because I forget if that Numel is part ground type. But then wouldn't that make it... I keep forgetting the type chart. Once again, I should just have a cheat sheet type chart. Just somewhere. I've come so far, but now this? Was I that easy to knock down? Yes. Goodbye. I think the wild Pokemon are doing a better job at keeping people out than you guys. Especially with the amount of Torkoal. <laughs> you made it this far, so I'll tell you! That's right! Up ahead, Groudon is sleeping! Maxi went to Groudon just seconds ago! It's going to awaken real soon! <laughs> You're all a bunch of crazy, aren't you? Oh, oh, it's you! Tabitha! Well, I guess we can at least give this a shot. How does it work? I really do need a type chart. Just physically standing up near my monitor. Well, we can just annihilate the camera up too, I suppose. Area lace. Destroy it. Kill it. Well, that's very rude. Another aerial ace to the face! It happened again! It survived with 1 HP! And Nickel got lots of experience. We'll go ahead and swap things out. Because Dark Type, which should annihilate you, I believe. We'll send out Striker. I keep forgetting. Is dark dark no wait deep dark type is weak against psychic. I don't know why. There's just certain little things, primarily around like psychic, ghost, and dark, that my brain is just like, well, let's work here. Thunderbolt. You are a fool. Gardevoir, you can at least have the... <laughs> you can at least have the Zubat.
confusion. I wonder, that would actually be an interesting, like, team to basically recreate a typical grunt, magma, or aqua team and just take it to the extreme. Take him down again. <laughs> And while you wasted time with me, Maxie should have awakened Groudon. I think we would have heard it by now if Groudon was walking about going crazy. Saying, how do you do? I don't think we're going to have to fight Groudon, though. And a Max revive. That'll be nice during a boss battle of some kind, I can assume. It's a jumping Geodude. Throw him into the rock tumbler. Although I would think that maybe uh, the Geodudes would actually like that. Maybe Striker shouldn't be the one to head us up when all that. I do believe we should, hmm. At least you. Because then you won't be at least type weak. Groudon. Nothing could awaken you from your sleep bathed in magma. This blue orb is what you sought, wasn't it? I have brought you the blue orb. Let it shine, awaken you! And show me. Show me the full extent of your power! And then he accidentally awakens Kyogre instead. Nope, Groudon is awakened. And it just flew out. Groudon! What's wrong? Wasn't the blue orb the key? Groudon! Where have you gone? Oh, so it was you. I've seen you poking around uninvited here and there. I get it now. You must have pulled a cheap stunt! Oh. Threatening music. My mighty Ina is better than your mighty Ina. Technically, mine went out first, so it shouldn't be hit by Intimidate. Whose bite will be superior? What does Scary Face do? Not my speed. Well, I guess we can try Strength. And now you're going to raise my attack, but make me confused. How dare you? Still don't understand how that works. Break through the confusion. You can do it, my boy. Fuck. And now you're just dealing damage to yourself. Break through the confusion. That actually did decent damage. Of course you would. But only a super potion. Break through the confusion. You can do it. God damn it. Now I have to go in and use a soda pop. Or maybe a hyper potion. Uh, no, it just doesn't feel right. Hyper potion just feels like an overkill. Break through! Quit using takedown, you bitch. Quit it with the confusion. Fuck off, it's hit itself three times now! That's bullshit game! Limit confusion, you whore! Then again, it could. His takedown could just eventually kill him, maybe. Thank God. It only took three hit themselves in the confusions for it to finally go away. Ever so slightly annoying. I was about to use a crowbat. We shall throw Luna out there to annihilate you. Also, you're the first one to actually have an evolved Zubat. Bravo! In fact, you're like super evolved. Of course. 
Because you're just like, I'm going to confuse you because I'm an annoying asshole. Break through the confusion. Good. Confusion is just an annoying dice roll of a move. Or like a status effect. Same thing with like par paralysis. And we can send Zoom out to finish things off, I suppose. At least you have a more interesting team. You surf, kill it now. Bye bye, camera up. You got HM'd. What makes you so adept at handling Pokemon? Oddly, you should know, because you have a Crobat. There has to be some reason why Groudon fled. That's what you're trying to say, aren't you? Hmm. You think I didn't know that? With Groudon gone, there's no longer any need for this blasted volcano. I'm going after Groudon, so this is where we part. You are a weird man. And I found an escape rope. I think the game is telling me something. Maybe it's just telling me, hey, you want to leave? You can. Well, now I want to explore to the sides. And there's nothing to the sides. Just equipment. Oh, then that's how we get out. Interesting. You think that the stairs would lead it the, the other way? If you just went down the entire way until having to go up, it would be like a full-on loop of doom. Eternally entering and exiting the same loop. Not the Torko! Not the motherfucker! Is that saying that Torkoal is blinded by its own steam so much that, like, it can't see the intimidation going on? Well, we chased off them, I guess. Now let us fly back to Lily Cove. We'll check out the convenience store supermarket, I suppose. See what they have to sell. See what there is to buy. I'll definitely put a bunch of things that I'm not going to be using for my items into the PC, because I forgot you can do that. I just forgot that that was a thing. It's like one of those things I just never use. Mailbox? There's no mail here. And I checked my messages, but I don't have any messages. I'd like to put the moonstone, the charcoal, the firestone, the hot scale, the thunderstone. Maybe the sea incense. Max, yeah, you can stay, you can stay, you can stay, you can stay. We'll need to sell you. Let's see. Soft sand, Everstone. And that's it. Cleared out a lot of places, at the very least. Now I suppose we can see if there... Because there has to be a gym here, correct? Let's see. The like a department store? You're just a receptionist. This is the Pokemon Lottery Corner. All shoppers at our department store get to draw the Pokemon Lottery Ticket. If the Lotto Ticket's number matches the ID number of any of your Pokemon, you'll receive a fabulous gift. Sure, I guess. I'm not gonna win. And then I win. A billion dollars. None of the members match. Please try again. I can't believe Pokemon has lottery in it. Is it even possible to win? Learn to use items properly. That's basics, really. How dare you insult me. Welcome. How may I serve you? Die. Ah, max potion. That's basically hyper potion at this stage of the game. None of my Pokemon exceed, uh, like, 200 health. Guess I can gather just a few more diddly dees, I suppose. And what do you have to say? Are you a receptionist? Welcome, how may I serve you? Oh. Alright, interesting. You basically have 
same but different things. You are odd. How may I serve you? What do you have? Just increases that I never use. How may I serve you? Oh, that's tempting. But no. They're very expensive and they only do so much. And I went down when I meant to go up because I am a fool. I should be talking to people, but I don't know why. TM. It gets all damage, but may fail if used in succession. That's probably protect. Prevent status abnormalities. Creates a wall of light. Alright, so that's just like a bunch of defensive stuff. Let me just talk to people, I guess, since I'm here. Hmm, an attacking move or a defensive move. It's no easy matter to decide which TM moves should be taught to Pokemon. O offensive eternally. There's so many different kinds of TMs. I ca a catalog I read there said that there are 50 different kinds. It's probably over 100 now. I like to get all the different TMs, but a Pokemon learns only four moves. That's why I eternally adore Pokemon Legends Arceus. They just do such a good job. A Pokemon can only use four moves, but it can have a bunch of moves that you can swap in and out. I love it. Bunch of hats. For the, this is basically just a secret base room place. When I see a wide world from up here on this roof, I think about how nice it would be if there were more than just one me so I could enjoy all sorts of lives. Of course, it's not possible. I know. Would you be interested in having a Pokemon Learn substitute? No. You are a weird person. Oh, I'm bone dry thirsty. I'll get you a drink, I guess. Don't they have a... Wait. I already have soda pup. Maybe he wants water? Don't they have set dates for their clear-out sales? I watch TV, but they never show any commercials. <laughs> Ha! The score an extra fresh water! Oh, I'm bone dry thirsty, and I can't even give it to him. How dare the game put somebody like that there? Only to go, lol, no, they don't do anything. Whoever made that decision of dialogue shall be thrown into a volcano, and then drowned at the same time. Now, let's see. This place does have a gym. Oh, no. There's a contest hall. And then there's the fairy place. Could have sworn there was... Because I think I walked around here last time. The contest hall. The hotel. And then the fan club. We went that way. Maybe it's on the beach. Who knows? Because this is like, un uh, it's hard to tell. So it doesn't really matter how big a town is. Sometimes they do have a gym, sometimes they don't. But now the question is, where do I go? Maybe we need to ask him. There, Whalmer, leap out of the water now! Huh? What do you want? You're messing up our training, so you can, like, get lost. How about you get lost, shove him into the water, as Whalmer watches him drown. And now we're in the Aqua Hideout! Ah, double battle already. I like that the idea that I just swim up, get right next to him, uh, sort through my Pokemon, then jump. Huh, what? What do you want with Team Aqua? Our boss isn't here, he's gone off to, a, uh, to jack a submarine. Where did he go? <laughs> do you really think I'd tell you something like that? Well, I know where he went then. I know exactly where he's gone then. He's gone back to the one place where that captain dude is. Luckily, we can fly. Nickel, fly us the fuck out to Slateport. I wonder if that's a nudge to use Surf to the little island place. Let's see, did they jack a submarine? Shipbuilding is an art. I still need that dive TM. Designing a large ship is more like building... Well, there doesn't seem to be anything here. So, maybe I am meant to surf to a different place. 
there doesn't seem to be anything here. I assume things would have been exciting if I, like, came here and things were crazy. Is there any way to access the sea from here? So that I can go right. Oh. I see, I see. You've had the most invaluable experience. Well, it's happening. Captain Stern says they discovered something at the bottom of the sea. I wonder what it is. What could it be? I was hoping that it was a famous star so I could get some, an autograph. But who's that being interviewed? Is that Captain Stern? What's going on here? Did the good captain come back with a big fish from the ocean floor? Eh, kind of. That lady interviewer is so cool and pretty. When I grow up, I'm going to be an international journalist. Hey, are you watching it? Ain't am I on TV? Shut up, man. An interview. Ah, uh, we're here. The captain's a celebrity. Yes, indeed. We intend to move ahead with our exploration. That's wonderful, Captain Stern. Thank you for taking the time from your busy schedule to talk to us. We hope we can interview again with news of more discoveries. <sighs> that was my first time being filmed for TV. That was nerve-wracking. Oh, Neon, you're looking great. We had a huge discovery on our last seafloor exploration. They found an underwater cavern on Route 128. We think it's the habitat of a Pokemon that's said to have been long extinct. <laughs> Captain Stern, I presume. We have Team Aqua will assume control of your submarine. Your objections are meaningless. We expect your total cooperation. Just watch and learn what Team Aqua has planned. What was that all about? It sounded like someone using a megaphone. Where did it come from? It's from the harbor! The submarine! They're trying to take it! Please, come with me! Oh, not you again. You are tenacious to track us here. That how much I will give ye. But now, no one can stop us. No one! Or will you follow us back to our hideout in Lily Cove City? <laughs> and they just jumped into the water to get there. Why? Why would Timoko steal my submarine and explore one? They can't be after the slumbering Pokemon at the bottom of the sea. But even if I were to chase them, I don't stand a chance against them. Well, I guess I have to go back to Lily Cove now. At least it had a nice little poke poke go activate scene. Very nice. Now I shall go and kick Archie's ass. I kind of find it funny that... The grunts wouldn't fight me, though. They were just like, nah, we're not gonna fight you. We know the story isn't to that point yet. I wonder why there's no police here. There's obvious gang affiliation, criminal organization affiliation, yet nobody came along to arrest them. Like, you'd think that wearing a uniform for an entire diddly D would be, like, reason enough to be like, hey, <laughs> you're obviously affiliated with a, a crime group. And then they'd be like, oh, but you just say that fashion is illegal. Well, when fashion looks like crime. Hello. I got guy, suspicious character spotted. Well, yeah, I'm in your base and I'm not wearing a uniform. And you just send out a Puchiena. That's higher level than some mighty Ina that I've ran into. The question is why? Why would you make that decision in life? Why? You make no sense. I lost it! Of course you did. You're a fool. I took the loss for the team, but I did my job. I don't think you did. And at least it feels like I won't have to run into enemy random Pokemon every five steps. That just proves that Team Aqua have a better base. Then again, the, the Magma base wasn't really a base. It was more like a staging ground for their whole operation. Oh, Archie. Teleporters? Interesting. I'll teleport to the other side and see what it is. If there's anything specific. Aha! 
I found a Max Elixir. Now you know that Team Aqua is more sophisticated. They have teleporters. The crime base song is interesting. You're a fool. Uh, I keep watching over the hideout bores me. I'll take you on. Doing the job is boring, so you'll do your job. You're a weirdo. Now we must kill your Carvana. Be intimidated, even though you look more intimidating than Night Fang. Kill! And then Rough Skin activates. Which is just silly. Just a silly thing. Oh, I lost. Do you not care about your job? You'll be fired! Hmm, another teleporter. Either that's leading to a secret place. Consider there's a... I'll go check out the other one first, and then I'll come double battle you guys later. Let us see. Whoa. Right. And then we'll skip that one. I do not understand what happened. Oh, is this just an entire floor of electrodes? Do I have anything good for electricity? Well, at least I can catch an electrode, I suppose. Don't explode! That's all that I ask. No explosions. It would be annoying. How dare you. I was just saying, no explosion! And I found a nugget. I forgot to sell my other nugget. Bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. All right, we will do one bite. I forgot, he's very hurt, my boy. Well, first things first, we'll give a soda pop to the boy. He deserves a nice, refreshing, but not that refreshing drink because it's soda. Ah, uh, yeah. And then I ended with more health than I began with. And a master ball! Okay, did not expect a master ball. That just goes to show that Team Aqua is more sophisticated. They freaking had a master ball. Like, don't you normally get the master ball, like, way later in the game? If you want to know the secret about our hideout, you have to beat me. You have me to beat. Hey, you there. Which do you think is cooler, Team Aqua's uniform or Team Magma's? Well, you guys do look like pirates-ish. They look like cultists-ish. You're both kind of weird. Personally, I think the Zubat is more of a threat due to the fact that it can use various moves to cause confusion, so it must die. Defeat your younger alternate universe self. They must be annihilated. And another Zubat, so let me guess, once we beat the Zubat, you're gonna send out a Poochiana, aren't you? Come on, send out the Poochiana. Oh, Carvana! You actually are original! But, uh, you're still gonna die. Then again, this is basically your new Mel, isn't it? Your vaguely fire-based, but water-based version. Goodbye, Carvana. Into the ocean you go to die. Goodbye, Grunt. I can't win at all. 
I lost in a cool way. At least you lost in a cool way. Our hideout secret? Well, let's just say there's a submarine at the far end. But by now, kick, 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 kick. Well, we'll move on out through your entire base. How he didn't see me, I do not know. He is a fool. Let's give another soda pop to the boy. We have it. Might as well use it. Soda for the dog. <laughs> I grew weary of waiting. You owe me a battle, too. It also feels like Team Aqua is more, like, interested in battling me than anything here. Another Carvana, because you guys just... At least Rough Skin isn't as annoying as it is in Pokemon Blue Rescue Team. There, it's freaking... Oh, you did... It's kind of weird, though. Because in this game, you beat a Carvana, it still inflicts Rough Skin. In Blue Rescue Team, like, if you hit a Carvana and they're still alive, it does a ton of damage to you. But if you beat them, then they, like, don't do damage. It's interesting. Tired of waiting. Lost and dazed. You are an odd little man. Boss, is this good enough? I do not know. I'm not your boss. No, that makes me funny if there would be like, you go along beating a criminal gang and then they're like, oh, you're so strong. You're obviously our criminal boss now. And everyone's like, oh no, there's the leader of the criminal group. Even though they're just... You just beat them whenever you find them, and they're just like, oh, yeah, that's our boss. Because they're just crazy. We'll have Striker come in and maybe destroy some folk. Fuel supply loaded, A-OK. -okay. In crew snacks loaded, A-OK. -okay. Nothing left to do but KO a pesky meddler. Okay, that's a good line. Even the oh, Team Aqua, Team Aqua has a better base. They have more one-liners. It's amazing. Almost as amazing as how fast you're gonna be obliterated. Goodbye, fool. I took a serious licking. You only had one Pokemon. You had a Zubat. Hmm. This was supposed to happen. My mission was just to hold you up. And yet if I'm sure, if I just went along all the way, I believe the same thing would happen anyway if I just, like, skipped past you. Let's annihilate them both. Warp panels, the hideout's pride and joy. You're clueless about where you are, aren't you? Fluster and tire out the enemy, then lower the boom. That's our plan. When I joined Team Aqua, the first thing I had to learn was how these warp panels connected. I mean, they're basically like doors. You just have to think harder about it. And now you will be annihilated. Thunderbolt. And confusion. I think these are the highest level grunt monsters we've run into in a while. There was a level 33 camera up from an admin, though. Very interesting that Team Aqua seems to get more, like, attention in Emerald than Magma. I wonder if it's favoritism. What's wrong with you? You're not tired at all! I was too occupied thinking about the warp panels. You're a bunch of silly bumpkins, aren't you? What? Why did he activate? That's weird. Oh! Okay, I guess I understand. I thought that might lead to somewhere interesting, and I didn't re Alright, my fault. Well, it's kind of weird that he went, did it, but then still let me keep going. It's kind of interesting. I have to go through all the entire base again. I thought it would lead to secrets, not pain. Normally when there's an extra way, it could mean a thing is good. But instead it was you fool. 
<laughs> it would be funny from Team Aqua's side. <laughs> Got here already, did you? We underestimated you. But this is it! I'm a cut above the grunts you've seen so far. I'm not stalling for time. I'm gonna pulverize you! I And also, their logo fits the game so much. Because they throw out a Pokemon. No, the, the, my brain, I don't know why. My, meh, my brain is on fire. But like, you get into a fight and it begins with you in the middle of their logo. It's just great. How come my Thunderbolt didn't paralyze him? The game is a tricky motherfucker. I... Well, I guess that works. I meant to do a different move, but I forgot which Pokemon I was on and forgot that that's not where strength was. I'm not using Nightfang, I'm using Striker. There is a Mighty Ena on the screen, but it's on the wrong side. Neat, you have a gold bat. Maxi had a crow bat. Although your gold bat is a higher level, but that actually means that you haven't loved your gold bat enough, have you? Say goodbye to your gold bat. You didn't even have a water type. You're a fraud. Yeah, <laughs> so I lost too. <laughs> While I was toying with you, our boss got through our preparations. <laughs> our boss has already gone on his way to some cave under the sea. If you're gonna give chase, you'd better search the big wide sea beyond Lily Cove. But will you find it then? I don't know. I don't even know where to get the HM dive. That would presumably be necessary. But I guess that means, hmm. What about the the gym? I thought there was going to be a gym here. Huh. And we found another heart scale. Neat. Blah, 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 blah. Hmm. So yeah, does this place not have a gym after all? I could have sworn that it had a gym. Maybe if we go in here, somebody will give me dive. Oh wait, there are people talking. I heard there's a tower somewhere out at the sea routes. It's called the Sky Pillar, I hear. I saw this tall tower somewhere around 131. Could that be possibly it? Until they finish making the ferry, we sailors have nothing to do. I wish they'd get a move on the folks at the shipyard in Slateport. I beg your pardon, you're looking for a ship? I'm sorry, the ferry service isn't available at present. And I can't even surf here. They won't let me dive into the water where a boat's supposed to be. But yeah, I guess this place doesn't have a gym. At least I can't tell. Is there a gym this way? Oh no, this is a museum. I guess we can go... Or at least I think it's a museum. Let's go in. Welcome to the Lily Cove Museum. Please take your time to enjoy our collection of fantastic artwork featuring Pokemon. As a painting of a grass Pokemon swaying in the breeze, they appear to be enjoying the wind's gentle caress. It's a painting of a beautiful smiling woman with a Pokemon in her lap. This Pokemon is adorable, just like our little boy. The Art Museum, well, you could see many fantastic paintings, and the curator is a wonderful person. Among artists like myself, this museum is an inspiration. It's a huge stone tablet inscribed with Pokemon and dense text in the small characters of an ancient, unreadable language. Battling with Pokemon is fun, I'll grant you that, but one mustn't forget our love for the fine arts. Amusing. Was well, that an explosion? It's an odd landscape with bizarre and fantastic scenery. And what doth you say? I'm the curator of this Museum of Fine Arts. It's heartening to see someone so young as you in our museum. Have you viewed our collection of paintings already? Not yet. Ah, oh, then let me not disturb you. Please do take your time. And then we'll say that we have. 
Oh, I do that you seem to be a Pokemon trainer. Have you an interest in paintings too? Yes. Excellent. Do you, you do like paintings? Then may I ask you to come with me? I'll give you a gun. This is our special exhibit hall. As you can plainly see, there is not a single painting on exhibit. Here I don't wish to exhibit works of so-called classical art. Such classical works you can see on the our ground floor. I wish to exhibit work that is far different from the classics. Art, after all, is not restricted to old, famous works. This exhibit hall, I wish to fulfill it with modern and vibrant artworks of Pokémon seemingly ready to spring forth into glorious life. I beg your pardon, I didn't intend to monopolize this conversation. Now, as you, uh, you are young and yet obviously well-traveled, you must encounter lively Pokémon and works of art depicting them. If you were to come across such a painting, may we ask you to obtain the artist's permission to exhibit it here? Interesting. I wonder what happens if you get fill it up with many, many art pieces. But this isn't a gym. Hmm, let me look at my Pokénav, because we have six badges. That means that there has to be two more places that have diddly -dees. So I guess... Ah, Moss Deep and Sutopolis, probably. I guess I'll go make my way to Moss Deep, then. Although, I wonder... Is there a way to leave Slateport and get to Pacifilog? And then I can just go kind of up to Moss Deep. Ah, well, we can always travel that road later. Let us go and try and find a way to Moss Deep. Off to Moss Deep, potentially, maybe, I don't know. This way, off into the wide world. I should probably save just to be safe, because we did clear out the two bases. A double battle right off the bat will annihilate you both. I'm growing bored of swimming. How about a battle? Here I am, swimming by my lonesome on this wide, beautiful sea. There's no other word for it. This is pathetic. And you will lose pathetically next to this woman. Especially because... Alright, you have a Gyarados and she has a Meryl. Interesting. Not more intimidate. That's the worst thing. Kill. Destroy. Why do these random trainers have higher level Pokemon than an entire cr criminal organization? Goodbye, fool. You'll be annihilated. Chomp on its head. And more confusion. Pop the beach ball Pokemon. I had no idea that you were this strong. I'm feeling blue. Blue as the sky. And now we're gonna run into some random Pokemon. It's a Wongle! That isn't really worth killing. We're almost into the 40s. Eternally, when it comes to water places, I have to go up and down searching for enemies. But I should probably just make a beeline to Moss Deep. And then maybe they'll give me Dive at Moss Deep. Jesus Christ! Leave me alone! You are level 6! Why are you here? At least we found another trainer to fight. Hey, you lost. If you can beat my Pokemon, I can serve as your pilot. How does that work? If I can beat your Pokemon, that just means that I have no need of you. If I did need your help, I would be screaming and drowning. Kill. Oh, 
How dare you mock me, little swimming man? Little swim swam? You're really sending out a flying type water type. You will you long for death. Why is your wingle lower level than like the giant one, the evolved one that I saw in the wild a long time ago? You are a fool. I lost my bearings in battle! You're not very a good pilot, are you? What item did you find? An ultra ball! Just level 19? You're not even worth killing! Be gone, Sutton! I'll quickly check my pokey nav to see where we are. Ah, we need to go down to the right a little bit. Oh. Interesting. Hunter's house. Who's Hunter? I'm the diving treasure hunter. I'm the awesome dude who makes deep sea dives to the gathered treasures resting at the bottom. You haven't got any treasure for me. If you see any shards like the red shard, you've got to trade it with me. What's a red shard? Well, that's obviously how I get dive. But how do I get the red shard? I do like the difference in architecture for this place. Interesting. I can't do this anymore. It's utterly hopeless. I'm a fighting type trainer, so I can't win at Moss Deep, no matter how hard I try. Ah, punch, punch, punch. Well, don't look at me that way. I'm only hitting the ground. Or do you want me to teach you your Pokemon dynamic punch? No. Darn, you're even making fun of me. Punch, punch. <laughs> it feels great letting the waves wash over my feet. Speaking of the waves, you know what island city Sutopolis? I think the gym there had a new leader come in. People tell me the new leader once mentored Wallace. Who is Wallace? Around Moss Deep, you can see Wild wa Whalemer. It's uh, called a, uh, what was it now? Way, 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 Whalemer watching. Are you brain damaged, small child? The gym leaders in this town are a formidable duo. Their combination attacks are like excellent and wow. Great, it's gonna be a double battle of Bonanza. Hello and welcome to the Pokemon Center. So I'm gonna have to have a decent team to go up against a double battle team. Which probably means that they are going to have a full six Pokemon for a gym battle. That's gonna be harsh. And I still need to be on the lookout for a red shard to get presumably dive. My little brother says he likes to go find people's secret bases. And I don't have one. You should make a secret base somewhere. I'll go find it. No, I'll never do it. I won't let you. You can't torture me. I got this from Steven, but I don't know what it's good for. I think it's called a King's Rock. Do you want it? Sure. Why'd you want it? You're weird. You can keep it, but keep it a secret from Steven. What's a King's Rock? It's just an item thing. What doth the game say? What are King's Rock? Hold item that may cause flinching when the foe is hit. Mm -mm -mm. Is there anybody without an item? Yeah, we'll, we'll give it to Striker just because we can. Because Zoom gets the normal band scarf when we go into dungeons and this is just an empty house. We invaded. What, is it Steven's house? Oh, um, you're Swallow. It doesn't appear to like or dislike any Pokeblocks. Because I haven't given it any. My husband can tell what kind of Pokeblocks a Pokemon likes at a glance. Good for him. I thought he was about to say doesn't like or dislike you, and I would have killed him. The Island Space Center has been launching huge rockets. There's been some kind of an uproar over a letter they received recently. I heard from a sailor buddy that Team Aqua set up a shop in Lily Cove. I also heard that someone came along and wiped the floor with them. But Moss Deep here has been targeted by Team Magma. If you want to know what they're up to, go visit the Space Center. Why would the... Why would... Why would Magma care about space? Don't you talk, walk away from me. 
The net and dive balls are rare Pokemon balls that are only made in Moss Deep. A net ball is effective against bug type and water type Pokemon. A dive ball works best on Pokemon at the bottom of the sea. Revive is fantastic. Give it to a faded Pokemon and the Pokemon will rise. But be careful, Revive doesn't restore the used power points of moves. So it's basically an adrenaline shot to the chest. I don't think uh, we'll buy a few more. Because it doesn't matter. If you're not paranoid, you're probably going to die. I should sell my nugget. Would you like a nugget? I have a nugget. I have two nuggets. Take them. Swallow my nuggets. Max Repel keeps all weak Pokemon away. Out of all the Repel sprays, it lasts the longest. Well, it can't last forever, which is false advertising because it's Max. Which should be forever. Hello? Hi, welcome. Are you here to play games using wireless communication? Can you just wait a little bit? The wireless adapter isn't connected. Come back when it's hooked up. I don't even know what this place is. It didn't have a sign. All life needs the sea to live, even though it makes its home on the land. Life, having run its course, becomes soil and returns to the land. And the sea is always connected to the land. Yes, like the very shoreline here. I found a netball. I shall catch that old man immediately. I shall kill him. Neon, feeling good? I'm doing great! I'd heard Moss Deep's gym leader is pretty strong, so I did decide to come take a look-see for myself. But there's something wrong about this town. People are going on about a warning letter at the Space Museum. I don't think it concerns me in many ways, though. And then he just walks away. What an asshole. I'm sorry, I gotta change my... my seat. I was trying a different chair, but it does not feel good. Feel good ink, this is not. The eternal struggle of trying to find a good seat for one's ass. It is eternal because it never ends. This rock has a special meaning to the people at the Space Center. They put it here as their wish for their rockets to fly safely. When you make a wish, what do you use? Do you wish upon a star? I use a wish tag to make it happen. That's what I do. It's a white rock. Why is it a white rock? Wouldn't it be nice if the whole world was covered in plants and flowers like this island? How dare you have such narrow-minded narrow views of the world. Hey there, trainer, a super rod is really super. Say all you want, but this baby can catch Pokemon off the seafloor. What do you think? You want it, don't you? After all, a super rod is really super. Imagine if you just walked into people's homes and they gave you shit. If there's any water, try dropping your rod and see what it bites. Is that a euphemism? A voyage on a ship is fine, but crossing the sea with Pokemon using surf? Now that's an exhilarating trip. Wouldn't you agree, youngster? I don't even think I've been on a boat that wasn't, like, a ghost ship. My little sister exchanges mail with her boyfriend in Fortree. I don't envy her one bit at all. What? But you're a little girl. Even though I can't see my friend in Fortree, my Pokemon carries mail back and forth for us. I'm not lonesome even though we're apart. Her boyfriend? Maybe it's just a sprite, but her sprite is much smaller than that guy's. Well, that was in the past. The closest place to space. But the closest space to, pl to space would be space. You lie to me? You lie on God? We're gonna save before we go in there. We're probably gonna have to fight Aqua Goon, or not Aqua Goons, Magma Goons again. Do they have a, what, do they wanna send a sphere into the sky? Oh, hey, Steven! I was taking a stroll down the beach when I found this. Not anything I need, so you can have it. So I was hoping it would be the Red Shard. The Owen region has been famous for the meteor showers for a long time. Some people claim that Pokemon came from space. Could it be true? No. A giant chunk of metal bursts through the skies and flies into space. It boggles my mind. The rocket launched safely. That's successful launch number one. I thought you've been launching rockets for a while. 
A rocket launch demands perfection. Not even a 1% margin of error is allowed. Even if it's 99% okay, the whole thing is useless if 1% happens to be no good. Despite that, we never stop trying. Why, it's a dream that never ends. Neon, have you read that proclamation already? Team Magma is coming after the rocket fuel on this island. I don't know what they'd need it for, but they can't be allowed to take it. I'll keep an eye on things for a while longer. In the meantime, why don't you go check out the town? This is an intent to steal notice to the staff of the Space Center. How are you? We are doing fine. We will soon visit you to take your rocket fuel. Please don't try to stop us. We will take the fuel no matter what. Let there be more land. Well, can't fault them for, like, calling ahead. I wish ordinary people could go into space one day. Hence, the <laughs> and then the Delta episode happens. If only I was a little younger, I would have liked to be an astronaut. No, it's not too late. I can and will try. You follow your dreams, old man. You become the greatest space trainer in the world. Mossdeep has mainly sunny weather and its winds are stable. It's an ideal location for launching rockets. But you're launching rockets like 50 feet away from town. That's like gonna kill somebody. Well, I guess it's technically on a, like, a mountain. But still, it is very close to an entire town. And like you said, 1% margin of error is still bad, and... So what if a rocket does a bad and kills the gym leaders? Alright, now let's set up my initial double battle team. Uh, I'll have them, yeah, I'll have them start. How's it going, Champion Bound Neon? The gym leader's here, you psychic-type Pokémon. If you go up against them with fighting or poison-type Pokémon, they'll inflict horrible damage. Plus, they'll come at you with outstanding combination attacks. If you want to win, you'll need to show them how tight you are with your Pokémon. Go for it! Um... Ah! Battles hinge on the strength of your spirit. The weak spirited will never win! The roads you've traveled, what you've experienced, come at me with everything you've learned! I will come at you with exceeding violence. Just realize that my Gardevoir might not be the best fit for this gym. You scare me more. Go ahead and use Confusion. I mean, Psychic. Why did I call Psychic Confusion? I am a fool! I'm a fraud! I attack your Psychic Mind with my own Psychic Mind. Oh no, it's attacking my Psychic Mind with its Psychic Mind! But l unluckily for it, my Psychic Mind is more powerful than its Psychic Mind. I lost! I must temper my spirits again. You've traveled a path of greatness! Now what? Fuck, teleporters. Oh, because that one isn't activated. <laughs> and that person's just like, what are they doing? Well, because... Uh, can't send you because you're, you're dark type and you get annihilated. Well, you know what time it is. Time to give the silk scarf to Zoom. And we'll also give a soda pop to our dear boy, Nickel. And I guess we'll do some fighting. <laughs> Watch me levitate a Pokeball telekinetically! Ah! Sometimes I'm out of sync! I see it. I see your future. If you can beat me, I will tell you your future. Let me guess. The future is me beating you. A giraffe rig in a Zatu. We haven't seen a giraffe rig in this game yet. I do find it a bit... scary that these Pokemon are catching up to me in levels. Well, the Zatu flinched, at least.
Well, this isn't good. We're not taking them down in one to two hits anymore. Or at least Nickel isn't. We don't exactly have anything to beat down psychic types easily, do we? But we also don't exactly have anything terribly weak to psychic, so this will be an interesting fight. My Pokemon battling skills are out of sync too! I surrender! You were supposed to tell me my future. You'll wage a terrifically intense battle with our gym leaders. The result, you won't hear it from me. Then what if you're just lying? Well, then I guess I'll have to have my main team out in front. I wonder if these... What, what's with these boxes? Oh, time to double battle. Let me see your talent. Oh, ho, 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 you need me to show you how tenacious the psychic type can be. Because I want to wipe out all the gym trainers before I fight the gym leaders. A Routes and a Spoink. I'm going to guess that the gym leaders have, like, level 43 Pokemon. They only have one each, so focus them down individually. A.K.A. Uh, attack them. Attack them decently. And at least the Routes is gone. How dare you psychic the boy. Bullet seed and cut, because you're probably going to die. No use wasting a uh, headbutt if we don't need to. Be gone, spoink. Fall into the depths of hell. Ah, if it weren't for this being a double battle, you would have survived with one HP, you little schmuck. You possess spectacular talent. Oh my my, your battle style is fantastic. We can do a double battle here as well. When you lose to me, don't be too hard on yourself. It's not that you're weak, I'm just too strong. Even at the risk of life, I will win this battle again. Even at the risk of life? And why did I say again? Interesting. Well, we will destroy them. All of these people's Pokemon are level 36. Annihilate them! Aha! The Metadite is dead! And so is that Curlia! Although I guess when it comes to, like, the actual gym leaders, I'll be focusing down individual Pokémon more than anything. You're just too strong! What you do, it horrifies me! <laughs> <laughs> what you do, it horrifies me. That is a hilarious line. Hmm. Oh, because I forgot this was a button. This feels like it will go to the gym leaders. Oh, this is a, this is a this is an entire gym spanning puzzle. Madness. Then fight me. Let me show you a perfectly awful, horrifying time. Rah! I have a taste of my super Pokemon hard battling power. I will annihilate you both. I do like that there's an entire gym based around the idea of double battles. That is really cool, though. Annihilate them one by one. 
Again, when it comes to our strategy against the actual gym leaders, it'll be slightly different. We'll focus down one side so that one trainer will inevitably be without Pokemon by the time the match is over. Trying to learn Slash, are you? But, uh, because you have Surf, you have Cut. Well, let's see, what else do you have? Rock Smash, so we can't mm, diddly D. Headbutt is just so good. Has a high critical hit ratio, but Headbutt's so good, though. Headbutt is so good. Headbutt is very good. Stop learning Slash. You fucker! You used Mirror Coat after the attack hit, and you're like, oh yeah, that does good. Fuck you. Destroy this bitch. How dare you, you motherfucker. No! Oh, Dunnin! Now I have to goddamn revive my poor, poor man because you used a bullshit move that shouldn't have worked. If you ask me. That just feels shenanigans. This should not have worked. Are we out of soda pop? No, it's the last soda pop for Zoom. And let's fight. I may be past my prime, but I suggest you not patronize me. You're not getting through to the end. Not if I can help it. Well, too bad. What you uh, can help is of no matter. Why do you have a not to instead of a zat to? It matters not. Leaf blade on that. Headbutt on that. We're probably going to have to use some ethers. And then again, maybe not. Because we could probably just run back to the entrance more than anything. Because we just need to activate the green to allow us to get through. I do believe. And now you were defeated. Ah, you have a flow with the power of youth. What are you, an old might guy? How could you be so ludicrously strong? Uh, I'm the protagonist. Yo. I'm going to assume that that is the way out. So we will just quickly head back to the entrance and heal at the Pokemon Center as we now head to our inevitable end. With the first and presumably only double battle from a gym leader. At least for this game. There'll probably be gym leader double battles elsewhere. But it'll also be interesting to see everything. Because it doesn't seem like I've had to grind at all, which is very nice. Let me get through. I think this way. I have to get through to activate so that I can get through there as well. Huzzah! Aw, oh, it reset because I've mad that's bullshit. Bullshit, I tell you. Auto shenanigannery. Although I do find it interesting that the purple zone basically isn't a puzzle. And now we can make it through again. I guess it makes sense with the strength stones resetting. 
every single time you, like, leave them out of sight, leaving the entire zone does make sense that it would reset the puzzle for this place. Not crazy. But here we are. And we're gonna save in paranoia, 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 because they're probably gonna out-level us eventually, which is why we're gonna have to do real good to double down against them. <laughs> were you surprised? <laughs> were you surprised? That there are two gym leaders, they say at the same time. We're twins, they say at the same time. We don't need to talk because we can each determine what the other is thinking, all in our minds. This is a combination of ours. Can you beat it? I'm going to annihilate you. To the best of my abilities. Also, you look like children. Oh, you're only four? Only four Pokemon? Very well, then. Cut that one down fast. Ah, Claydol. Ah, but that means that it's probably... Oh, it's going to... Oh, that's not good at all. And you're confused now, because the world is mean. And you know Earthquake! And it's a... Wait. Ah, but it's a ground-type move, so it's not going to affect Zatu. Bullet Seed. And Headbutt. You fucker. I hate that you use healing. That's my shtick. How dare you exist in my world. Headbutt, go through. Go through the confusion. Yes. Be a crit. Damn. But they used heal on it this round, so it can't attack. Leaf Blade and Headbutt again! I need to remember, when in uh, Diddly D gym fights, I need to use my most powerful moves all the time. And what's next? My Lunatone. Break through the confusion again! Even though it's a rock type, so it's not going to do much. You fucker! Why did it do so much damage? You whore. You slut. And it's part rock type, so I shouldn't do that. Hmm. You're aggravating me. It shouldn't have killed old Zoom at all. You stupid fuck. Kill him. It wasn't even a crit or super effective. It's just like, lol de lol, I'm going to die. And that's what you get, Lunatune. Super effective and critical hit. See, that's when that should happen. You stupid little motherfucker. Now get blasted to bits. Oh, wait. Because... Wait a minute. These guys are cheating, aren't they? This schmo- You motherfucker Giga Drain the rock. But did I just see what I think I saw? That they had four Pokemon, I beat two on one side, and the third one came out on the same goddamn side. I don't think that's good. I think that's cheating. If this was a real double battle, you would only be able to use two Pokemon each. You cheatsy cheatersons. You knocked out Zoom with your shenanigans, and then you had further shenanigans of sending out a Pokemon when I beat two on one side. What? Our combination has was shattered? It can't be helped. You've won. So in recognition, take this. I still think you guys cheated. It's one thing to be like, holy crap, you guys went and did a stupid fucking large amount of damage of Psychic against my poor, poor Zoom. And then you go and you pull that, haha, we're a gym leader, so we're going to use all our Pokemon at once as if, if, if at all possible. <laughs> the Mind Badge enhances the special attack and special defense of Pokemon. It also lets you use the HM move Dive outside of battle. You should also take this too. 
And what's that? Contains Calm Mind, the thing that Gardevoir has known forever. It raises special attack and it raises special defense. It's a move that's perfect for psychic Pokemon. But yeah, I think that that's the first time that a gym battle actively cheated. Wow, you're astounding. You're one great trainer. Because again, in every other gym battle, or not in gym battle, but in every other double battle, they are limited to an even amount of Pokemon per trainer. So if you wipe out one side, the, uh, the, the other trainer can't just give another Pokemon to the side that lost all their Pokemon. It just feels like the game cheated there. Great, it's Maxi. Wait, maybe it'll be if I beat Team Magma, they'll give me the red shard that I require? You, will, you missed out on some experience, so I'll let you uh, annihilate some schmucks. But yeah, <laughs> it would be one thing if every double battle functioned that way, where the two will work together to limit the, your ability to win. But that's not what happens in this game. It's only for that double battle. As promised, we've come for the rocket fuel! Well, I'm gonna melt you like a steel beam. You have two Pokemon. Good for you. I'm still gonna kill ya. I'm coming in. Zoom has some aggression to work out because she was literally cheated. Go ahead, send out a Poochiana. I also find your unevolved Pokemon disturbing. Level them up. Evolve them so that I can uh, get more experience from them next time. Ran out of fuel. But also, where's Stone? With Team Magma around, I guess strolls on the beach aren't safe. Team Aqua should take care of Team Magma. But if they did, then t that Team Aqua will become bold and brazen, won't they? A giant chunk of metal bursts through the skies and flies into space, but Team Magma wants to spoil that dream of mine. I'm not having any of that. I know that things are a little haywire right now, but the rocket launched safely. That's <laughs> successful launch number one. Those magma thugs have their sights set on our space center, but we can't allow anything that minor to interfere with our rocket launch. Uh, question. Why haven't the- why didn't the police come forward to protect you from this inevitable attack? We give you fair warning, there's nothing sneaky about us. I guess that's true. But wait a minute, you had a secret base, that's entirely sneaky. At least Team Aqua went into a pre-existing cave and let their, like, entire existence be known. Ah, we should have used sneaky treachery. <laughs> Not like it would have mattered. I would have just gone to the diddly D, the gym battle, and I would have fought you anyway. The rocket fuel the Space Center has in storage. That's what we're after. We mean to take every last bit of it. Why do you even need rocket fuel? What is the purpose of the rocket fuel that you require? Not the battle toy. Kill. With surf. I just realized I could have used surf back there, but against the evolved form of you, but I don't think it would have worked as well. Please, can you spare some fuel? Even a chintzy cup will do. What's a chintzy cup? Our leader said no one, but no one gets past me. I'm going to annihilate you. And you're just a grunt. But you have a... Why is your Mariena less leveled than the Puchiana that we've been fighting up till now? Well, I guess you do have more Pokemon, so maybe you've been spreading your levels out, so... Yeah, I guess that makes sense. You, They're overall less leveled, but they're more... You have more Pokemon to deal with. And you're sending out another Mighty Ena. Neat. What is this, the Mighty Ena Brothers? Headbutt that Mighty Ena. Make him flinch! 
Damn it! But he used over over sleuth because he's dumb. Be gone, mighty Yena! Into hell! Level up for Zoom! You're gonna use a new mail, then I shall send out Nickel, cause he deserves some levels too. I do find it funny that this is your highest level Pokemon. The unevolved Numel. Darn, almost leveled up. What are you, dying of a heart attack? I do kind of like the weird bells in this wacky theme. Please tell our leader that I never abandoned my post, that I stayed to the bitter end. You're not dying. Jesus! What's wrong with you? You're outnumbered three to one, but you still want to take us on? Yes. A reckless go-getter, are you? Okay, I'll go first. Wow, they actually ambushed me. Impressive. Granted, they're going one at a time at the beginning and then presumably going to change to a double battle in the final half. <laughs> That's kind of funny. You falter and you fall. I lost, but... It's too soon to be relieved. I'm up next. Oh, it's not even going to be a double battle. It's just going to be one, 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 one. You are very silly. This could have been the first triple battle. It would have been perfect. Annihilate this fool. But where's Steven Stone? Maybe he's taking on Archie. I lost two, but... I bet you want to take a break, but I'm not about to let you do that. I literally haven't lost a single Pokemon to a Grunt. In fact, I don't think anyone from Team Aqua or Magma have fainted a Pokemon of mine. Steel Wing! Congratulations, it survived. But not even a Rock Tomb will bring Nickel down. That must be pathetic. You. You did a super effective attack, and it didn't do anything. Nickel, how could you miss? And you use Sandstorm. In a fucking building! You are destroying the upholstery! Have you no soul? Bye-bye. We should have taken a break. That's what we should have done. You are a bunch of silly people, aren't you? It's been a while since you've gotten front row. Why would Team Magma want to steal our rocket fuel in the first place? That's what I'm asking. Team Magma, do they want to go to space too? If Team Magma takes the rocket fuel, I won't be able to go to space. They can't be allowed to get away with such an outrage. You follow your dream, old man. Team Magma. What's the point of stealing rocket fuel? <laughs> Since you're so curious, you deserve an explanation. We're going to jettison the entire load into Mount Chimney. With Groudon gone, we have no need for that slag heap of a mountain. So we'll use the fuel's power to make the volcano erupt. It will be savage. What was that? Clear out of the way. Don't you dare interfere. Well, I guess I'll have to interfere on this side then. <laughs> we come all the way here to get some fuel and we're interfered with again. If you're going to mess with us too, we'll take care of you at the same time. Neon, you're going to help me? Let's go into battle together. Are you ready? Let's go, Stone. I'll choose Luna. Oh, I can only pick three. That's right. And Striker. And, uh... I'll go with Nickel. Oh, I can pick more. Oh, then why'd you have to have... 
Cancel the battle? Oh, I need to come down here to confirm. That's a little weird. I guess they wanted to give you the ability to choose more than that. Skarmory, Agron, and Metang. Neat. This is the first time we have a double battle like this. Very cool. The Mighty Ina leveled up. And I do believe that Mighty Ina will be going down very easily. Psychic! Oh, that's bad. Again, I keep forgetting the workarounds of everything. Once more, I definitely need a type chart cheat sheet. All right then, psychic the camera up. That's weird. Why do you withdraw? That seems ominous. What are they planning? Well, you psychic on you again. Get rid of you as much as possible. Because you are raising your stats way too much, if you ask me. Oh. That's what you're doing. You're using the... What's this called? The diddly D guy. Your agent to power up all of your Pokemon. But that Golbat's going down easily. Because you're weak to Psychic! Well, that's mean. Oh, that's double mean! Please don't annihilate Luna. Good, you survived. Oh, fuck off, game. Oh, oh go, the earthquake didn't affect the Golbat. Scared me for a moment, game. All things considered, I should probably withdraw my Gardevoir. Nickel, come in! We'll take down the Mighty Yena first, so that it becomes a one-on-two. Thank God it didn't attack, it didn't try to do that to, to poor Nickel. That would have annoyed me. Alright, that didn't do too much damage. Good. Destroy the Mighty Yena. Break through and destroy. Damn it, Matang. Haha, <laughs> fool. The Matang is going to go down, though. Steven, you're supposed to be a powerful Pokemon trainer, aren't you? And the Mighty Ina's dead. Good. Then again, this is a bad type matchup for you, isn't it? Protect yourself? What about me? Let's see. Steel good against you. Let's try it out at least. No, it is not. But it did raise my defense. Gathering power, are you? Leave Nickel alone. I'm going to play it safe. And use a Hyper Potion on Nickel. Blast it with Solar Beam! And that didn't do much. Ah, were you hoping that you would be able to defeat my poor Nickel? You're wrong. You keep using Protect. Are you awaiting a Earthquake or something? Because it's not coming! I 
And he's sending out the damage to Mighty Yena. It's powered up a little by the past amnesia. Go. Aerial Ace! You have decent stats, don't you? I'll try to set it up for you. Don't confuse me, you bastard. Of course he had to go and confuse my boy. Break through! Yes, break through the confusion. Goodbye, with the power of allied solar beam, you are gone. Why does a steel type learn solar beam? And the final one? A crowbat. Aerial ace! Don't confuse Raimi, please. Oh wait, we are already confused. So now we're double confused. It should have been me, not him! And I snapped out of the confusion. Break through the confusion, Agron! Deal more damage! Ah, you motherfucker. Aerial ace again! Mean look. What does that do? I can't swap it out, alright. Or maybe just can't escape. Sure, whatever. Break through Agron, finish him off! Alright, guess I'm gonna have to finish him off. Alright, Nickel, destroy. Aye. Okay. Um, poor choice on your part, die. That was the first time that in any of the Magma or Aqua people fainted one of my Pokemon. And it was all because I didn't have control of an allied in a double battle. All I want, I just want to expand the landmass. I'm with you, our leader. Because you're crazy? We failed to make the volcano erupt. We failed to control Groudon after we had awoken it. Is our goal to expand the land misguided? If... If we, Team Magma, are wrong, then might Team Aqua's goal to expand the sea also be equally misguided? All right, we will give up on the fuel. There appear to be more important matters that I must examine. Ah, <sighs> that was too tense. Neon, thank you. I have something to give you as thanks for your support. Please come see me at home after this. Oh yeah, I don't live in Rustboro City. I live right here in this island. Well, fine. Why would Team Magma want to steal our rocket fuel in the first place? Apparently, I'll explode a volcano. Don't know why. Don't know why you'd want to do that. Like, I guess I kind of get it, but a volcanic eruption, like, isn't really going to add that much land. In the grand scheme of things, it's more than anything probably just going to blot out the sun and cause a mass extinction event than add a decent amount of land to any place. Team Magma was about as crazy as frickin' Iron Man gathering more than the entire stockpile of the entire world's nuclear arsenal and firing it into the Earth because he wants to see what's at the Earth's core. Neon, as you can see, there's not much here, but this is my home. Thank you for all you've done. This is my token of appreciation. It's the Hidden Machine Dive. No need to be shy. You've earned this HM. Now I need to teach it to somebody. While you're using Surf, you should notice dark patches of water. Use Dive if you come to deep water like it. You'll drop to the seafloor. When you want to come back up, use Dive again. In some places, it won't be possible for you to surface, though. And uh, let's talk again. Do you have anything else to say? Apparently, there's an underwater cavern between Moss Deep and Sutopolis. You know, the one Captain Stern found in the submarine. Well, we... First things first, we are going to fly. And we're going to check out that abandoned, uh, diddly D over here. So that we can go diving. Oh, but we need to... Please don't say that I have to sacrifice headbutt on my poor, poor Zoom to teach dive. Actually, I'm gonna save again. I'm going to save again, just in case teaching 
dive to a Pokemon that isn't the same as the d the surfer causes issues. Let's see. Who can learn? Who can learn? Nobody! Nobody can learn! Because HMs are ass. I better not be expected to do diving a million different times in this game. If this is what you're doing. Uh, who's gonna be sent away? It can't be you. Can't be you. It... I, I guess it has to be... How uh, about Striker? When we're going to the water, it probably has to be Gardevoir. Sorry, Gardevoir. Now we need to bring someone out to be the diver. Who can be the diver? Probably you, Popeye. Probably you. That's like literally our only water type Pokemon. It's you. There's also Archie, but we're not going to use Archie. I wish that I could check everyone here if they could take the HM. Wait, maybe maybe cast form? Maybe cast form. Can cast form learn it? Let's see. Can cast form learn dive? Can you learn dive cast form? Then you're useless to me. I guess we're going to have to go. And you know what? You know what's going to happen? You know what's going to happen? We're going to bring Popeye out. We're going to be like, oh, Popeye, are you the one who can learn dive? And they won't be able to either. We're going to have to go and catch like a tentacool or something. And I don't want to do that because tentacool are stupid. They're evil little bastards. Well, that's very dumb game. Why can't he learn dive? He's a water type. Then again, Lanoon can learn surf and they're a normal type. This is very dumb game. What is the deal with dive? Why is the point? Maybe you, Jack? Hmm. Hmm. Because it's obviously up at the time. We'll bring you out and see. And if this doesn't work, we'll go fucking catch a water type Pokemon elsewhere that can hopefully learn dive. Because it's a water type. Can the Lotad learn it? No, he cannot. Jack, you're going back into the box. And we're going to have to use our super diddly dumb bum bing bong ding. But this also means if we ever run into a random dungeon and there's a dive spot, we're going to have to leave behind one of the main party Pokemon, which is dumb. Well, time to go fishing, I guess. And what shall you be, a Magikarp? A Whalmer. A decently leveled Whalmer, all things considered. Alright, we're gonna tackle you. Game, you're being an ass cunt. Wasn't Whirlpool an HM move in a previous generation? Jesus fucking Christ, don't kill the boy. And we're gonna try from here. Get in the goddamn motherfucking ball. We're not gonna use the goddamn master ball on that. I don't even know what I'm gonna use the master ball on. Stay in the goddamn ball. Good for you. We aren't healing you, especially if you can't learn the diddly dee. Whalemer, the ball whale Pokemon. While this Pokemon usually lives in the sea, it can survive on land, although not too long. It loses vitality if its body becomes dried out. You are here for dive, and if you fail that, you will be forever branded. Alright. Learn the HM. Dive. Whalemer, good for you. You are Dive. Dive wants to dive. Dive can dive. What are you gonna forget? I really don't care. 
uh, may be missed. Crates missed that stops reduction abilities? I don't care. You're not going to actually be used. You are the HM slaviest slave that we're going to drive. Now we're going to go to the goddamn diddly damn abandoned ship with our d slave. That is all that you exist to do. Go to a ship, grab a scanner. You serve no real purpose in life. It is immensely dumb. You know, I really don't mind the removal of HMs later on in the series. And deep dive. Interesting. Ah, we can rise here. Yes, use dive again. Even though it's not dive, it is arrive. Door is locked. It's RM1. Door's locked. RM2. Alright, I feel like I tried to move and the game didn't let me. I found a water stone! I almost want to see. Hey, dive. Can you evolve in this game? It's no use! So I guess they add it later in the series. Waylord. Puh! Wait. Things flashed on the ground there. If you enter an area, hidden items on the floor will shine, do I see? I see you over there. The RM1 key! Alright, that's interesting. Or at least in this case, these hidden items will shine. Very interesting. There are two items here. I found Rain Dance! I'm probably never going to use you. I found the RM4 key. I believe up here. It's bright and shiny, but it's just trash. That's amusing. The RM4 key, you say? RM6, so over here's RM4. So in the trash can, the RM6 key. It's bright and shiny, but it's just trash. Aw, oh, kind of rude. I thought it would be cool if it was actually items. And now we're... Oh, a luxury ball. Huzzah. But you know what we're gonna do? We're just going to press on every space. The, uh, just a way of elimination. Who needs to actually watch when you can just brute force? It's just pressing a goddamn button. I'm not scared of you, game. I'm not scared of your shenanigans. I'm just going to brute force you. And I found the RM2 key. Bite that game. I don't need to play by your rules. I don't have to go and, like, go through, go to the door that is blocked by trash cans. I can just press A on all the everything. And I found one skin! And now we can go give it to the scientist man. That's an interesting little mini puzzle they have here. Very interesting. It was very enjoyable. But yeah, in the end, I do believe that HMs are a blight. 
Honestly, I wouldn't mind, like, looking into, like, fan mods of the, the games to see if there's, like, I don't know, just a way to go, screw you, um, use the HM without teaching it to a Pokemon or something. That would be a very fun, like, fan mod. Oh, that's a scanner. Listen, can I get you to deliver that to Captain Stern? I want to investigate this ship a little more. I'm going to assume that we need to leave this place entirely before we are allowed to fly away. But then we can fly to Slateport. We shall fly to Slateport and immediately abandon dive. Because I do not care. I know there's also like the stuff of catching Groudon and Kyogre later on, but if I remember correctly, I hear that it's kind of like a chase where you need to go to like the Weather Institute and they'll be like, there's weather anomaly at this place. And uh, then they'll, you can go there and if you're lucky, you can find a cavern and like fight them. But yeah, basically, as long as we are possible, we are not going to have dive in our party party unless we absolutely have to. And I'm going to assume that Captain Stern went back to his place here, or maybe he's still at the... Maybe he's still at the ferry? Oh, hey, Briny! Ah, Neon, it's been too long. I, since I met you, this old sea dog's been feeling frisky, so I've decided to help Doc make a ferry. Aye, after all, a fairy would be able to carry a lot of people. But, you know, that dock is really something special. With his knack for technology in my experience, I'm sure that we can build one great ship, I. Okay. I'm going to assume that, yeah, they should have given Captain Stern an original sprite, not just a science sprite. So that way you can, like, tell him apart from the other scientists. Yes? I was in Pacifilog just now. I saw this huge green Pokemon flying across the sky. I've never seen anything like that. Amazing before. I wish you could have seen it, Neon. Hmm, so Rayquaza is moving further. Oh, Neon, that item you have. That's a scanner. That would sure help us in our explorations. Would you trade your scanner for something? Like, say, a deep sea tooth or deep sea scale that I have? And I'm going to look that up. DC tooth and deep sea scale. Because I want to know what I'm trading for. Let's see. Uh, it's a type of held item. It allows Clamperl to evolve. I wonder what the other one is. Then uh, deep sea tooth. It uh, allows. Oh, Clamperl has divergent evolutions, does it? Or am I being dumb? Nope. So it can either become a Gorbass or a Hunt Tail. Hmm. I don't really have a preference. They're both just water types. Don't really care. Well, I guess I shall take the deep sea scale, I suppose. So you trade it for deep sea scale? There you go. Thanks, Neon. This will help our research a lot. Hmm, but Pacifilog Town. I wonder if that's a hint that maybe something's there? Let's see, where is Pacifilog? Little Root, Old Dale, Petalburg, Duford, Falber, Verdant Turf, Mauville, Fortree, Lily Cove, Sutopolis, Pacifilog. So we haven't even gone there. I guess we can swim to Pacifilog now. If we can find a way out of here. Which I think is just right here. And I don't care if there are any dive spots. We're not going to go into them. It's a lot like... Uh, oh. I need to be careful, I guess. Nope, I can't go anywhere. 
Darn. I can't go. I wonder what is stopping me. The currents, probably. Well, that makes up our mind for us. Well, I guess that I shall go to Moss Deep and then I guess maybe make our way to Pacifilog if we can. Even though that will possibly be a waste of our time. Or go to Sutopolis. Sutopolis is closer. Let's try to go to Sutopolis. Even though, more than likely, the game will want us to take our newly formed dive with us. But I do not want to use dive. I do not care about it. The game did not let me teach it to a Pokemon in my party. So we need to go down two screens, then the left. Well, let's explore the waters and find a way down. All right, trainers. Are you ready to dry? You will be lightened to death. I'm not going to lose to some surfer trainer. Hey, you're riding a Pokemon instead of swimming yourself. I'm envious. The Spectrum has been fight has come to fight us, I suppose. Isabella and Roland. I'm sorry, but we must annihilate you. Feel the fear of your enemy's eyes before you pluck out their eyes. Go ahead and, uh, I guess... Yeah, you can bite him, and then you can Thunderbolt him. Everyone wins! Die, Carvana! Will this rough skin somehow damage him despite it being a ranged attack? It didn't. Good. How dare you survive! How dare you use Bubble Beam! Fucking Bubbles! Kill him! <laughs> we do not need to lightning bolt a near-dead star, you. That is ridiculous. I've only got sweat in my eyes. I'm not crying. Oh, I can't. Are you going to drown? Are you going to drown, little man? I hope you do. Drown. Drown evermore. Hey, the neon, it's Corey. Insert basic bitch dialogue here. More fighting. If seawater gets up your nose, doesn't it feel terrible? I would uh, not know, but I would assume yes. I couldn't even swim last year, but now I'm a decent swimmer. I think I'm capable of anything now. I'm going to shatter your expectations. Like your kneecaps in a second. And uh, this is a retread of the very same battle we had not 30 seconds ago. Interesting choice game. Like, I understand it for, like, an entire, like, criminal organization to be a bit samey, because that's kind of how Team Rocket was. But I think that's a little pushing it game that a double battle is going to be the exact same type, with the exact same levels, with the exact same trainer sprites. Let me guess, are they uh, Roland again? bubble all you want, but you will not survive, and no, do not waste the ability of thunder upon him. He's almost dead. Leonardo. Ah, why you, glub? Sheesh, getting greedy didn't do a good, do a thing for me. Let's check our Pokenav. Do we need to go to the right now? I mean the left. Ah, we're almost there. Yeah, this is a big diddly D. And I guess we can, like... We'll have to find an entrance to Sutopolis. Ooh, hoo, 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 I'm a mermaid! I'm going to harvest you for bones! Because this is Dwarf Fortress now, bitch! Prepare to die.
harvest your bones, sell it for gold, until it gets nerfed because the creator of the game is like, why is everyone killing the semi-sentient mermaids for their bones for money that's basically useless in this game? Ah, oh, how cute, it's a spiel. You're gonna die. Are you one of those Pokemon that don't have their, like, semi-iconic secondary evolution yet? Like Waylord? Goodbye, fool. My fantasy bursts as if it were a bubble. Blub, blub, blub. Now time to take your bones. I was gonna say something, but I don't want to jinx myself. Swimming is a full body workout. You'll get fit. I'm in a... I do not have access to water. At least of not that variety. I do find it amusing that in later games they turn Gyarados into a, a water flying type. Wait, they did that in the second generation, I think. Which just made it m more likely to die to thunder. Especially when it's a super effective critical hit. Dear God, Striker, you did not like the vibes of that Gyarados, huh? I admit it, you win! Not until I take your bones, too. It's all equal play in this world. Well, I guess we can kill you to level up Striker and have somebody else be the lead for a little bit. Goodbye, Tentacool. Be gone. Level up for Striker! Huzzah! We'll let Nickel take over, because Nickel hasn't leveled up yet. Access. We want access to Sutopolis. Oh no, don't tell me. We need to dive into Sutopolis, don't we? That is how we get in. I can already hear the cries of damnation. The only way into Sutopolis is to dive, isn't it? That is the only way, isn't it? And why is the level fucking 15 bothering me when I have level 40s, you motherfucker? And yep, that does appear to be it. We need to dive into Sutopolis. Well, I guess I have to fly back to Diddly Da, Moss Deep. Fucking bring dive back into the world. Um. I sure do love the game forcing things on me when I don't want them to. Why can't dive be an optional HM? Yeah, this is the one annoying thing with older Pokemon games. The utter annoyance that is HMs. Because they just get in the way of the gameplay and you're like party composition, because it's not even like just any Pokemon can learn. Frickin' diddly do dive, apparently. You'd think that a Pokemon that can learn Surf can learn Dive, but no! I don't even know what the classification it asks for out of it. It feels weird. It's just a very weird thing to ask of the player. We're gonna go the same way. We're gonna go. Safa now. I should probably use my super repel, huh? Oh yeah, you already leveled up. So I should probably put somebody else in front. Somebody who is not dive, because dive doesn't get to go to the front of the bus. Because dive is a monster who deserves nothing but pain and misery. I should have called you, uh, what's the, what's the name? I should have called you, what's it, what's it? Quasimodo. I should have called you Quasimodo because you are ugly. 
You are ugly, dive. Because that is only your purpose. What is my purpose? To friggity fucking use dive, and that's it. I just went into Sutopolis. But I guess we can try and find underwater deep sea Pokemon. Are you telling me that deep sea Pokemon don't want to fuck me? There we go. On the bright open sea, the game says they'll fight you every time. All the time. Clamp Pearl, you're the thing that evolves into the thing that I got the die. I don't care. I don't care about collecting you. If this were Legends Arceus, maybe, because they actually make it e kind of easy to gather up team and level up and stuff. So it's not as annoying. And now we can go into Sutopolis. We're gonna go into Sutopolis. I guess we can live now. We are now. I don't want to go directly to the gym. They would probably wreck me. I need to do like uh, at least a bit of grinding, probably. PP up is great. It raises the power points. The PP of a Pokemon move. Do you know full restore, full restoration of HP, eradication of all status problems? It's truly an item of your dreams. I don't think I have anything to sell you. And again, hyper potion for days, honestly. Because max potion is like end game stuff. We're gonna find the Pokemon Center. Hello, weird house. The cave that links Sutopolis in the outside world, it seems as if the cave was made to keep something from getting out. Or am I just imagining things? An underwater volcano erupted and forced itself up from the depths. Its crater emerged from the sea and became filled with rainwater. That's how Sutopolis City came into being. No, that's how the area of Sutopolis came into being. That has nothing to do with a city rising out of the ground, huh? You maniac. You're a Pokemon trainer, aren't you? Sutopolis has won as many fans, even more than a student Wallace. Do you have any? No. Oh dear, that's a little lonesome. Try working a little harder and get a fan following. Dedicated fans come from even outside of Hoenn. It was really wild when I went to the trainer fan club in Lily Cove. Who needs fans when you can manipulate people and just make them fear the power of egg? There appears to be some connection between Sutopolis and Mount Pyre. My friends and I did some research on it uh, at the lab where I used to work. My big brother used to steady the sea. I'm surprised you're not in Team Aqua. I would have had to kill you then. Hmm, you've come all the way to Sutopolis? You're no ordinary tourist, but I suppose that doesn't make you an extraordinary tourist either. How rude. I must kill you as well. And what's this? Who might you be? This is the Cave of Origin. The spirits of Pokemon becalmed at Mount Pyre are said to be revived here. Please leave. How very rude. How about I kill you? So you need to be revived. Somebody's gonna try and get in there, aren't they? Why do they even put this tree here? Why can't I use cut on it? Hi, what's your name? Okay, that's nice. My name is Kiri. My mommy and daddy named me so that I would grow up healthy and warm-hearted. That's what they wished. You could have one of these. Palm egg. Kiri will give you this berry, too. I really like it lots. A figgy berry. Are you going to give me a figgy pudding, too? I wonder what kind of wish is included in your name. I have no idea, lady. Child. You talked weirdly. Sutopolis, the mystical city where history slumbers. Will somebody wake it up? Whenever, wherever, and whatever happens, I'll always be friends of Pokemon. Because it's fun to be with Pokemon. 
Uh, Sutopolis's gem leader is really lovely and admirable, but that also means I have many rivals for his attention. He's got an appeal with a double edge I couldn't even catch his eye. Please let me teach you your Pokemon the move double edge. No. I don't want to lure in a move. Wallace is rumored to be the toughest trainer in the whole Hoenn region. This town's gym is led by the trainer who taught Wallace. But the Elite Four, they're said to be even stronger than Wallace's mentor. How strong could they be? We'll walk around the rest of the town, at least. Let's see. Sutopolis spring up as a town in the crater of a volcano. If you look up at the sky, the lip of the crater is also visible. So all you see is the sky is a circle. But that's what makes the sky above Sutopolis is the most beautiful. I think you're just weird. Why do you have trees cutting off your door? When I was young, I traveled the world as a Pokemon trainer. Now that I've become an old buzzard, my only amusement is watching young trainers battle. I think you're a psychopath. Why do you... that's kind of odd. Hello, you're our first guest in a good while. You've brightened up my day, so I'll give you a big Whalmer doll. Sure. I'll take a Whalmer doll, I guess. Why would you say no? Is it cursed? If you take it, do all your Pokemon become poisoned eternally? Do you know the Pokemon Lotad? It's really seen in Sutopolis. I love, I mean, love Big Lotad. My big brother says the Sea Dot is bigger. But that's wrong. Everyone knows that Lotad is a lot bigger, huh? Do you have a Lotad? Please show me. I don't have it with me. If you get a big Lotad, please call me. Do you know the Pokemon Sea Dot? It's hardly ever seen in Sutopolis. Anyway, I love Big Sea Dot. The bigger, the better. But my younger brother, he says that Lotad is bigger. That's silly. Sea Dot has to be bigger than that. Do you have Sea Dot? But please show me. I don't have it with me. Crazy people. This town feels bigger than others. Listen up, and I'll tell you something good. There's supposed to be an ancient ruin in the sea around here. There could be treasures just waiting to be discovered down there. Ancient treasures, it would be nice if they existed, but even if they didn't, it would be so beautiful to take an underwater stroll with my Pokemon. Not unless the one doing the strolling with you is fucking dive. I I've never been out of this city. I wonder what the world is like on the other side of this round sky. That feels like child abuse. Mount Pyre. At its peak are two orbs placed side by side, did you know? Yes. Yes, two orbs side by side. The sight of them together, it's something soothing. But we've been going for about three hours, and we found Sutopolis, so I do believe that that will be it for now. We'll one more roundabout, make sure everything is discovered. Everything's discovered. We won't do the gym. I'm gonna do some grinding off screen for it. And then, like, then I don't know. I guess then head to Pacifilog Town? After we beat this gym, if we beat this gym. Because, again, I feel like I should get my Pokemon decently high up in level before taking on that gym. So I'll probably do a ton of grinding. But, uh, yes. This was fun. We've... This is a lot happened. We went and wiped out the bases of Team Aqua and Team Magma. We then stopped a... <laughs> and then, funnily enough, Team Aqua stole a freaking... Uh, what is it? A submarine, while Team Magma tried to steal some rocket fuel, but we only stopped the rocket fuel stealing, which was honestly probably the better thing to stop. <coughs> sure, Team Aqua is gonna go and resurrect Kyogre, but uh, a volcano erupting was probably a bit worse. We can stop Pokemon. We can't fight a volcano. Then again, one would argue that, like, uh, Groudon is a volcano, but... Meh. But, yes, and then we beat up the gym, the twin gym leaders, which cheated. They fucking cheated, I tell you. They cheated! Because normal double battles are meant to be this trainer has, like, two Pokemon, and this trainer has two Pokemon. And so if you wipe out one side of Pokemon, they can't throw out another, even if one side still has Pokemon in their back pocket. They fucking cheated, and one side had three Pokemon on it at at the end of the day, which is stupid, it is evil, and I will not stand for it. Those twins, those youngsters should have their gym inspected and shut 
down, because that is illegal, much more illegal than one-shotting Zoom with Psychic. It is evil, it is nasty, it is meh. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Next time we will, uh, I guess, try to take on this gym and hope we're at decent level. And then I guess maybe see if we can find any hints or whatever of to where Team Aqua is going. I think uh, Stephen Stone said that they should be... That Captain Stern used the submarine around Sutopolis, maybe. So maybe out in that cavern right outside Sutopolis. Or maybe even here in Sutopolis. Maybe that gym is going to be where... Kyogre actually is. Who knows? But next time we will do various things and go from there. Maybe visit Pocifolog Town if we can. But then that will be it. Thank you very much for watching. If you want more from me, I have an edited content YouTube channel, Neon Icy Wings, which I swear edited content is coming to eventually. And then, of course, a streaming and archive channel for gaming, Neon Icy Games. So you can watch me play games live or watch streams of streams past like Pokemon Crystal, Pokemon Yellow, Blue Rescue Team, Kirby in the Forgotten Land, uh, Undertale, the Mass Effect Trilogy, just many, many games. And if you prefer to watch on Twitch while it is alive, you can watch me on twitch.tv slash Neon Icy Wings. And uh, then if you want other such things from me, like art, like my little character in the corner, you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, Newgrounds, Inkblot, just lots and lots of various art sites and social medias, and those links can be found in my link tree. Linktr.ee slash Neon Icy Wings. Other such links are also my writing on Archive of Our Own, so if you want to read some of my writing, you can. As well as my Patreon, so if you want to throw a few dollary dues my way so I can survive the evils of the world is slightly better because <laughs> uh, that would be appreciated. But yes, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.